Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Natalia. For today's video, I'm going to start decorating my kitchen for fall. I'm going to show you how it looks right now and then I'm going to start decorating. I'm going to start with my pantry cabinet. My husband repainted and he used a nice gray color. We want a different accent in our kitchen, so that's why we had this idea. Most of the decor that I'm going to use for my pantry cabinet are things that I have already. I got this beautiful saucer copper from the thrift store. I really like the blue on it and I think I'm going to use it through the whole year. For the shelf on top of my stove, I'm going to use um, this wooden decor that I DIY recently, followed by a basket with a greenery and a yellow mold cup. I'm going to decorate my stove by using this beautiful kitchen towel in orange that I got from TJ Maxx followed by this candle that I um, DIY recently. On this table, I have my coffee machine. I'm gonna use the mug that I got from the thrift store. It's a beautiful muting orange and this galvanized tray that I had it before with a tea towel and this creamery that I got from Hobby Lobby and I, a wooden decor DIY that I did it recently. For this shelter, I'm gonna start with this planter that I DIY before. In this corner of my counter, I'm going to add this wooden planter base that I thrifted a long time ago to keep my cutting board organized and this leaf ceramic decor that I thrifted as well with a real squash. For this area, I'm going to keep it very simple as well. I'm going to use this beautiful mini wreath 
I love the green color and this watering can that I repainted in copper it was blue before I purchased from Hobby Lobby for only two dollars during summer followed by this uh, cup In this side of my counter, I have my mixer machine. I'm going to add this muting color decoration followed by this uh, wooden sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. I like the quality, I love the color, so I'm going to just put it in this side of my wall. I'm going to place this beautiful picnic basket that I thrifted recently with some dry hydrangeas on top of my refrigerator. For my kitchen table, I'm going to keep it very simple by using this tray that I DIY recently, followed with these beautiful dry hydrangeas and some fresh pumpkins on top of a wooden bowl. In this side of the wall, I'm going to use this uh, wreath that I recently DIY. I might um, have another video showing you how I did it and with another other decorations from fall. Lastly, I'm going to decorate my hatch. I'm going to keep it simple with a little a touch of fall by using some coppers and my some greens and also a little touch of blue. Here I'm adding this beautiful blue mini crack that I got recently from the thrift store. For this area of my hatch, I'm going to use this galvanized bucket with some dry hydrangeas with different colors, brown and green. I think it's going to match perfectly with my frame with this picture on it. And this frame was a different wood color. I just distress it and it looks nice. I'm going to add these plates with a kitchen towel and a pumpkin that I recently DIY. And as an accent, I'm going to use this um, donut mold coppers.
All right, friends, this is all for today. This is my kitchen, how it turned out for falls. Um, I hope you get some ideas from this. A very neutral color with purple, orange, and a little bit of blue. I want to show you my new balance that I got from my window. They were in a cream color. I got this from the thrift store. What I did is I add a little bit of bleach and I, I left this from one day and now it looks more like an off-white which looks so pretty on my kitchen. Also I have my table next to my stove Then my husband painted on white and he left the top with a neutral color. Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.